You gotta crash it. It's Comedy Central's second annual Crash the Super Bowl and freeload like a celebrity sweepstakes. One winner and five buddies will help Jimmy get into Joe Robbie Stadium to see the game, freeload at the parties, and experience the Super Bowl without all that pesky pressure to win. The only way I'm going to the game this year is if you take me. To enter, write your name, age, address, and daytime telephone number on a postcard and mail it to Comedy Central's Crash and Freeload Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 1438, Bridgeley, Maryland, 21683, or call the telephone number listed in the current issue of Sports Illustrated. Enter Comedy Central's Crash the Super Bowl and Freeload Like a Celebrity Sweepstakes, and get me to the big game one more time. This contest is sponsored by Miller Lite and Nike. Take off, coach. You're at Comedy Central. Hi everyone, I'm Mike. Uh, welcome to the set. Ah, Crow, what happened to you? You like the look? I got contact lenses. Well, your eyes were fine. Really working out for me, too. Yeah, I see that. Yep, every 15 minutes I take them out, rinse them, soak them, then pop them back in for more easy viewing. Mm -hmm. So much easier than glasses. Yeah. And, and you're not gonna blink anymore. Uh, these are soft contacts. You don't have to blink. Uh, we'll be back in a sec. They look painful. Uh, uh, no. uh. This program is brought to you by AT&T. AT&T, this is Matt. AT&T, True USA Savings. Yes, sir. Bottom line it for me. Just make $25 in calls a month, and we'll subtract 20% off your AT&T yeah, bill. Yeah, but 20% off calls to who? To anybody. Anybody, anybody, or just certain anybody? Yeah, absolutely anybody in the U.S. It's our best program what ever. What about Martians? <laughs> calls to people on Mars? No, no, no. Martians living in the U.S. Oh, sure, to them, too. Really? AT&T True USA Savings. Save 20% to anybody, anytime, anywhere. Your true voice. Mentos, the fresh maker. We asked people, which cough syrup coats better? Look how watery that is. This one coats more. It's VIX 44. This is 44? Compared to the other major syrup, VIX 44 coats better and feels better going down. But the reason it stops more coughs is that it has 50% more cough suppressant. So 44 is better at stopping coughs? I'll try it. VIX 44, the stops more coughs, cough medicine. What a great idea. Pamela Blasetti, professional baker. Now Crisco comes in these new sticks, like butter, only better. They're easy to measure, easy to store. 
They go in the pantry, not the refrigerator. So they're always soft and much easier to blend. And right in the package is Crisco's ultimate chocolate chip cookie recipe. They bake up higher than the Toll House cookies that use butter. Stay moister, too. See? New butter-flavored Crisco sticks have butter beat. Cooks who know trust Crisco. What do you have to drink? Uh, another box of purple stuff. Mom got me sunny delight. Oh, me too. Except mine's California style. Mmm, California style? It's different from original sunny view. Original and California style both come in a fun single serve size with the same vitamins as Big Sunny D. Anybody want to try this? Uh uh. Oh, okay. come on, I'll, I'll throw in some chips doodles. I'll throw in a pickle. Sunny Delight Singles, original and California style. The good stuff kids go for. Hey, you're Jimmy Johnson. Yes, huh? You won the last two Super Bowls. How you getting into this year's big game and all the parties? I, I don't know. Uh... Crash and preloads? Stay tuned to Comedy Central for details. Okay, it's okay. Ah, there we go. All right. Shh, no, be still. Oh, see, that's your problem. Okay. Ah. Oh, oh, that's where that one went. There, can you see a little better now? Oh, I don't think so, Mike. These contacts must be faulty because Servo looks like he has sneakers on. Well, that's obviously wrong because he... Ah, <laughs> Servo, what happened to you? Guess what, Mike? Just signed myself a million-dollar contract to endorse these designer sneakers. <laughs> but how can that be? You don't... Have any feet? I know, but that doesn't matter. I don't need feet. I'm all charisma. <laughs> now that TV's Frank is my agent, the opportunities are limitless. TV's Frank is an agent? Well, sure. He's handling actors, directors, screenwriters. Screenwriters? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, TV's Frank. Come in, my good buddy. Come in, wonderful Frank of mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, Binky. Thanks a lot, honey. I'll get back to you. Thanks. Talk to me. Oh, hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Steven. Hi, David. Look, I've been thinking this over, and if I'm going to help you with this new project, frankly, I'm going to have to see some resumes. I'm sorry. I don't know what you've done. I... Goodbye. Yeah. Crow tea, baby. Talk to me. Frank, you've read my spec screenplays, right? Earth versus Soup, and of course, my Peter Graves at the University of Minnesota script. Now that you're a big time agent, how about representing me? Crow, I've read Earth vs. Soup, and frankly, it's a big so what. As for that other thing, well, several studios all over town are developing their own Peter Graves at the University of Minnesota project, so I'm afraid I don't think I. <laughs> Frank, I think it's awful how you've become this phony, flashy Hollywood Wheeler dealer. Personally, I'll have no part of it. Mike, I've been wanting to talk to you. I've got you booked to tour, and anything goes. 10 grand a pop. In olden days, a glimpse of stocking was thought of as something shocking. Now heaven knows. <laughs> it's a done deal, a no-brainer. Look, at the end of the day, Frank, we're all gonna... What? Frank, what the... What are you doing? Clay, get me some Pellegrino, will you? I've got Coleman Francis on the line. Oh, that's my four o'clock. Oh, boy. My hottest new client has arrived. Torky, baby, how you doing? Great to be working with you. <laughs> the master will be pleased if I get pay and play and back and participation. All right, uh, Clay, my Pellegrino. Torgi, it's great to be working with you. You know, this is essentially a business about relationships. And... As of now, I'm closing Frank's little office. I'm canceling your contracts but I'm taking on Danger Death Ray as a client. In fact, I'm booking it as this week's experiment. <laughs> yes, gentlemen, prepare to take a meeting with extreme emotional pain. <laughs> you have Mike Ovitz's number? You're the top. You're the Tower of Pisa. Hey, Robert, You're the top. Out of it there. You're the Mona Lisa. We got movie time. You're the We got movie time. 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 We in the ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba story. <laughs> oh, I'm glad they said danger, or I might have thought it was just a normal death ray. There's a dangerous death ray situation on outbound 94. You might want to take an alternate route. Which one of these
these guys is Marcello Mastriani. I can't believe he spent the whole party talking to that guy. Driver, will you tell him I'm not talking to him? Ah, the handsome one of the group. <laughs> Italy's Tor Johnson. I think Hal David wrote the lyrics. <laughs> Let's go swing it into the night. -da 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 -da. What do they mean by ba -da 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 -da? Is it protest? <laughs> it was originally titled La 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 La. Big creative dispute. Here it comes again. Kane and Andre the Giant had a child. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, cool. Make a face. Design your own face. I should like to be in a barbershop quartet. <laughs> now, these are like European regular guys, but European regular guys are still a lot cooler than American regular guys. These men are ready for action. Women adore them, men respect them. <laughs> Why? What? We're looking at me. I'm not looking. Yes. Ah, they're at the end of the bop da 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 tour. That was bop da 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 by the Doodle Town Fifers. Bop da 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 da. What? You giving me a ticket? Tough. Okay, everything's in order. Let them through. What country is this taking place in? Europe. I like to watch people park. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. The mini dish hasn't made his life any better. Okay. <laughs> Biff, Moff, hi. All this equipment just to catch reruns of Madam's Place. Huh. It's like something my dad would buy at a garage sale. <laughs> Merv's guests are Zsa Zsa Gabor, The Death Ray, and Tony Fields. Well, the reason I gave your paper a D is because you didn't. Professor Carmichael, sir, the commissioners are all present. The NATO commission's all present. Let's begin, then. Have Dr. Carver bring them in, please. ba ba da ba da, -da. This is your life, Jean-Paul Belmondo. Ah, the World Perks Club. Good evening, gentlemen. Really quite European in here. Mm -hmm. Professor Carmichael is waiting for you. We didn't Which get our drinks meeting? yet. Well, Those of you with small children will please board Professor Carmichael first. Ladies and gentlemen, your pasty white Europeans. Buckaroo Banzai goes to the nursing home. They really have captured the grandeur of white guys walking in herds. Hmm. Hey. After you, Swifty. Scene could really use a bop da 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 Barry Diller. It is. Oh, no, not one of my packs. Not here in the elevator. Uh oh <laughs> Aren't you glad you used dial? Don't you wish Europeans did? No. Uh, perhaps someone should press a floor button. Biff, Moff, let me flip one of these switches here. You're watching Brian television. Oh, Brian, all the time. In an underground bunker, the Major League owner's plot strategy. Why can't I get the Red Shoe Diaries? Sit down, please, gentlemen. Good evening, Good evening. Thank you for coming. Yes, all of you can be hand models. I think they need to loosen up their family reunion. <laughs> all right, now, uh, who here is bald? Show of hands, please. Gentlemen, I should like to remind you, first of all, that the demonstration you're about to witness is top secret. The reason for this will soon be obvious. 
is. It's in my I pants. I don't need to warn you that you're responsible to your respective governments for security in this matter. Uh, isn't this the real estate seminar? I've dedicated the whole of my life to the study of radiation and... Crocheting. ...its use for medicine. But I find that the moral concepts that governed all my work in the past no longer apply today. You're not funny! Unfortunately, my work on radiation is as dangerous as the discovery of atomic energy was. Isn't that radiation too? It may too? either contribute to the well-being of man or bring about his destruction. Come on, death ray something. As a scientist, naturally I couldn't ignore my personal responsibility in this Ribbit. terrible Ribbit. choice. Ribbit. And so I felt that from an ethical point of view, it was my duty to use this knowledge not only for the treatment of disease, but to develop a powerful weapon that might serve as a deterrent for the preservation of world peace. Ribbit. <laughs> is I anyone succeeded. listening? Which is the reason why you've been invited here tonight. Please pay careful attention to everything you're going to see. Sure, it's phallic. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> the power of disintegration of this ray is a lot greater than a laser beam. So I haven't just invented that again. Gentlemen, it is my earnest wish that this instrument, which we have finally developed here, may never have to be used for anything but a purely peaceful purpose. <laughs> Choice is not mine. It's my wife's. Open the doors. So it's a peace-loving death ray. That used to be my job. This is the death fuse box. Oh, and our doors moo when you open them. I restate again, <clears throat> it's for peaceful purposes. That is a block of the special steel alloy used in spacecraft and is, as a consequence, exceptionally resistant to very high pressure stress and extra atmospheric temperatures. Pencil drop at 915. I ought to explain to you that the ray I'm going to use in this experiment is only one hundredth of the maximum power that can be obtained. Get it on! But to create a more potent ray, it's not necessary to build a bigger apparatus. Come for on. greater intensity, it's enough to turn this control. Can the balloon juice and kill something! So this is martinizing. Uh, uh, again, peaceful purposes. I've seen better death rays. Now, you might expect to pay up to $3 million for a death ray like this, but wait. Still thought there'd be donuts. Ribbit. <laughs> hey, my car's parked behind that wall. Danger bifocals. So if you ever need to burn holes and stuff, this is your baby. I don't like that, but I'll take a dozen of those little switches. Yeah. Incredible. Amazing accomplishment. Like it truly is. Congratulations. So on behalf of the ugly European society, we applaud you. He's sexy without his glasses. Numptious. Oh, no, it's FDS. <laughs> well, this frosts my strawberries. Oh, my gallstone! Oh. oh, Butterfingers, I'm sorry. Huh? Quick! It's the emergency alarm! Over to the laboratory! <laughs> really queer emergency alarm. <laughs> I'm hoping. Well, this is our first emergency. We're not very good. Peck and pause, wild parking attendants. Would you please turn off the alarm? It's just making us all tense. So the numbers for the babysitter, the police, and the Maroney's next door. Police headquarters? Mm -hmm. Emergency. We can't get the alarm off. The laboratory's under attack. Mm -hmm. Watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central at 2-ish. Watch Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. I was chosen to be in a fashion show. What bothered me was that I looked matronly. I felt old. I wanted to do something about it. I joined Jenny Craig and I love the personal taste program. I get to choose the foods that I like to eat. Lose all you want with Jenny Craig for half off. Just $49. Shape up, America. Call 1-800-92-JENNY today. When I walked across the stage, they were whistling, clapping, wooing. I look good for my age. This man plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 
his name is Hardy Nickerson, but he often goes by the name the Dragon or El Dragon. He is very dangerous and often angry. Act casual. <laughs> When parents work, the kids should help out at home. My son does the dishes. He's great at it. I can always count on him to do them right away, before any food dries on. No matter who does the dishes, Cascade does the dirty work. Other leading brands can leave spots, so your dishes look dirty. Cascade with sheeting action gets them so clean, they're virtually spotless. Perfect. Thanks to Mr. Dependable here. I passed a movie theater that was doing a tribute to River Phoenix. It was kind of freaky, huh? Him overdosing like that? He was a vegetarian, you know. And everybody knows. If you're gonna go out and do a bunch of coke and drop quaaludes, you need a good steak. A solid protein base. You're not gonna get that from a rice cake. Go to Sizzler, get something to build off of. Not as funny. Monday. Monday. Hmm. How about British stuff? If it's Monday night, there's a penguin on the telly. It's London Calling kicking off our new primetime lineup. Catch two hours of Brits, Wits, and Twits every Monday night with London Underground, Monty Python, Whose Line Is It Anyway, and Absolutely Fabulous. Watch London Calling Monday nights from 8 to 10. It's better than a prank call from Princess Di. Oh, he had a little too much death ray. Oh, the Goofy Ghoulies are after me. Hmm? Is that too many bullets back there? Is that okay? Enjoy my teeth. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid you won't pass your driver's test this time. I'm sorry. Could you get out of the car? Get going. It was fun. I think I'm finally coming out of my depression. <laughs> the death rays just rattling around the trunk. Hope they wrapped a blanket around it. Yeah. There's a darkness at the edge of Europe. Ah, right. Leave just enough room for them to get through. <laughs> <laughs> there, we made them swerve slightly. <laughs> Sully's gonna blow groceries. Stop at Walgreens, will you? Thank you very much. Pass if you're gonna. Come on, idiot. Jeez, oh. oh, fellas, if we only had a death ray, we could. Hey! This is so lucky, we needed a helicopter. <laughs> it's Tom Wolf. Can you imagine the horrible kinds of peace the bad guys will wage with that death ray? I'm not that drunk, let me go, I can fly. The chauffeur is not gonna get his tip now. Wow, chauffeurs are doing it for themselves. This toy out of here quick. <laughs> hello, hello, headquarters. They're escaping in a helicopter. And it's cool. So stupid. <laughs> this is my favorite part of my job. back. I can't reach it. Oh. Wow. Ribbit. <laughs> Honest to goodness, real, not toy helicopter. Anybody bring the death ray? Attention headquarters. Their direction is southwest. The chopper is painted white and red and has a blue tail. That's Over weird. and out. Attention all airport patrols. Watch out for a single blade helicopter heading southwest. They have a kidnapped scientist with them on board. Oh, we're in heaven. Tidy Ball Man is doing all right for himself. <laughs> They're coming up for more baking soda. 
<laughs> ah, the ocean's beautiful in this part of the tub. <laughs> well, this set is at least three box tops. Special effects by Billy. <laughs> These are not toys. Mm. Uh huh. <laughs> the Willowy Sub Commander. So, when does the Moomin Chance rehearsal start? Don't go up there. You'll become a toy. Yeah! Oh. Thank you, Eastman Widescreen. Why have you taken me to the Peterson's bathroom? Oh, this is so indulgent. Oh, another one. Underalls for men. Ding, ding. Okay, so my death ray presentation wasn't that snappy. Ow. Danger, twist tie. And more butts. Oh, now he's showboating his butt. <laughs> okay, we can die. Billy's out of the tub. We can dive. If we want. Head towards the drain. Das toy boat. Oh, did somebody tie on the helicopter? Oh, eh. well, this must be a massive organization to be able to throw away a dollar fifty helicopter. A door. the tub cool down before they use it now. You're here, but she's here with the traveler's checks. <laughs> ah, very nice. Vaguely European gigolo. Drink me in, folks. <laughs> Satellite dishes on their ears. <laughs> Checkout's not till 10. What a pleasant surprise. What the hell do you want? The boss would like to see you. You're joking. I only just completed a job. Haven't had any sleep for three nights. You know that. It's urgent, Mr. Fargo. <laughs> Very urgent. Oh. Jethro! <laughs> We've got to get drunk. It's urgent. Well, I'm glad to say that our clients were very pleased. Yes, well done. Yes. You deserve a special prize for your work. He's won the Irving Thalberg Award. <laughs> Another job, and one of international importance. The NATO authorities have enlisted the help of our organization in tracing a kidnapped research scientist. Excuse me, Senor Raymond, but you oh, probably... we have to go through all that again. You'll get your usual pay and a bonus. So don't try to argue about it now. It won't do any good. You're worse than an Arab. Oh, come Always on. arguing over <laughs> how much you're going to collect on a job. If you hadn't such a good record, I would have got rid of you already. I'm sorry. This new case is a matter of life and death for the whole world. Senor Raymond, can't you use anyone else in this job? One of the interns? Yes, what do you mean? You say I'm on holiday. Don't you remember? You promised me I could take two weeks vacation after I... Don't worry. Do this job well and I'll give you a month's vacation. Ooh. There's all the information you may need in the dossier out there. My secretary will give it to you. Don't forget it's top secret. Read it and then destroy it. Is that clear, Fargo? Yeah, everything's clear. It's clear. This is bogus, man. Meeting. One last thing. As usual, I expect reports all the time, Fargo. Use your microtransmitter on the 20 megacycle band. Yeah. And don't forget... Professor John Carmichael's disappearance multiplies the risk of a worldwide cataclysm. And that's why I've been hired to go and bring him here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, fine. I'll save the world when I'm ready. Mm. I'm going to finish his scotch. <clears throat> well, uh, that does it. Time for my obligatory flirting scene. I'm sorry, honey. Our trip to Mallorca is off. The boss was kind enough to give me a new assignment. 
Yes, so I heard, but I think you should have insisted a little more. You know you must take a vacation. Mm, I like it when you worry about me. Stress turns me on. Is this the dossier? Yes, that's the yes. dossier, top secret. I found it laying around. I have to go undercover as Tony Roberts? Oh, darling, take care of yourself. I know fighting this time, huh? <laughs> I don't want you yeah, to Yeah, a Ferengi <laughs> ear. The other guys usually need plastic surgery. Anyway, when I get back, we'll go to Mallorca for a month. His phone has lost weight. But don't leave till tomorrow. Spend the night with me. Senorita Roberta. Get back to your work. Don't. Must I remind you again? <laughs> Not to distract our agents. And Fargo, you ought to leave at once. Do you hear that? At once. I'm trying to run an international organization and you guys are bugging me. Remember, Mallorca. Selling vinyl siding is full of intrigue. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Servo, what is that? Oh, Mike, it's a death ray I made. Death ray? Yeah, but of course I made it for peaceful purposes only. I could. Oh, wait, here comes Crow. Oh, geez, I know I made it for peaceful purposes only, but I just can't resist. <laughs> Servo, no! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that for? Oh, boy, I'm sorry. That was my death ray. I had intended it to be for peaceful purposes only, but then you came along and... <laughs> I got to admit, it, it is pretty funny. Oh! <laughs> 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 On January 24th, Comedy Central will bring you the greatest comedy team ever to hit live television. Clinton and Miller. Watch the State of the Union undressed. It's the big speech that Dennis will rip to shreds as fast as Bill can suck up the newt. 1-800-COLLECT presents Politeness Man. Hello. Being the champion of courtesy, I get lots of letters. Oh, my. <clears throat> Not to mention countless 1-800-COLLECT calls, which I graciously accept. Yet there's always that one person who calls Collect the Rude Way by dialing zero. Here's how I deal with it. Hello? Zero dial collect call for Politeness Man. Do you accept? Accept what? The exorbitant amount of money I'll have to spend on this call? Money that could go to save the whales, the rainforest, the ozone layer? Guaranteeing the children of the world a better tomorrow? Well, I... My thoughts exactly. Remember, it's 1-800-COLLECT for savings. Do you know how much sprinkles you got? More from this can than you thought. Fill a bowl from a Pringles can. Got as much as this bag. Amazing man. Can you believe how much sprinkles you got? So pop the sprinkles, don't stop. Get the great shit you want, not the greasy mess this bag's got. Sprinkles, once you pop, so much more than you ever thought. You can't stop. The world according to Spab. Limousine, primo beer. Can't beat it. I'm not a hostage. I just play one on TV. I'd like to live forever, but only for a little while. Finally, America has somebody to look up to. You say it along with me. SFW. Words to live by. Rated R. Starts Friday, January 20th at select theaters. Yeah, I'm 36. And if I see one more gorgeous 18-year-old trying to sell me wrinkle cream, I'm going to scream. There's so many beautiful women of all ages, much older than me. <laughs> I think I'm beautiful. Oil of Olay. So sheer, so light. It penetrates quickly to boost skin's moisture renewal process, reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles. You know, if it can make me look gorgeous, I think even Princess has a chance. <laughs> a lifetime of beautiful skin. Oil of Olay. A healthy hairspray? I think I'm in love. Gels that are actually good for my hair. A mousse with provitamins. Brilliant. Leave it to Pantene Pro-V to go beyond styling to healthy. There's gel for control. Mousse for volume. And hairspray that holds all day. All enriched with Pantene's provitamins that penetrate to improve. Pantene Pro-V styling. For hair so healthy, it shines. My hair never had it so good. <laughs> oh, it is a dangerous mission. It's U.S. Air. <laughs> I'm an English firm. 
And commercial relations between England and France aren't always easy. And you know why? Because the frogs because don't both listen. Because countries are trying to sell the same products to each other. Could you not and talk? Do that. Well. Are you feeling all right now, Signora? I don't know. Monsieur, you were saying. Continue your story. What? Oh no, she's prettier than you. Oh, I've already bored you with it. Let's talk about you. What do you do? I'm beautiful. Oh, my work isn't particularly interesting. As a fashion editor, I'm just like you, continually traveling. But one soon gets used to it, <laughs> luckily. Danger, small talk. Where are you bound for this time? A short visit to the east. New Jersey? And you? To the west. What a pity. Uh -huh. That means we can't boink. Meanwhile, in coach... <laughs> Welcome to Structure. Here I am in the west. The West is nice. Didn't know my youth hostel locked the door at 10. Not without my daughter. Doug Fairbanks comes home late. Mm, I think he missed this day in secret agent training. I think he wore the wrong shoes. Ollie North arrives at campaign headquarters. That was really him. Mm -hmm. You ought to clean the pool. It's <laughs> filthy. Augustus has fallen into the chocolate. Hey, uh, somebody tell the director we lost him. I think he's dead. Sure, we got a little water in the basement. What of it? Yeah. <coughs> Mommy, I swam all the way out to the raft. Oh, what the hell am I doing here? Will Marsha find love? Will Dr. Dressen find a cure for Danny? It's like when rats pop out of the toilets in St. Paul. It's so embarrassing. Hmm? Hey, Mario, what took you Looks so like long? Looks like a tall elf. I just got a message from the boss. He said to expect a visitor. Someone's looking for the Spaniard. Where is Scarface? That's my affair. You just carry out orders. A Charlie Watts walk-on. You know, you leave yourself open to this kind of thing when you have a trap door. When stuntmen try to play cards, <laughs> six no hearts. Oh. I hate triple sec. Uh. Come on, fatso. <laughs> I just had a henna rinse. You're such a boner, man. Oh, this is the best fortune hunter yet. You're the one that knows everything. Who's God? Where's the man with the scar? Oh, no. You know who I mean? Well, I don't you better talk. Well, well, where is he? I'm trying. Please. Oh. Sure, I'll talk. Oh. But don't let go of my larynx. Our oh. face isn't here in Rome. He, he left two days ago. Oh. The boss ordered him to leave. Oh. He went through. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you ever have to make up your mind? We're gonna get down now, because there's a funky kind of intrigue going on. Okay. I just wanted to thank you. Thank you for killing that guy. Watermelon man. Hitman. These Sansa belts are made for action. I'll wait for you here for a little while. Counting on him being completely blind. Jack LaLanne is the fugitive. Watermelon Man. I refuse to look to the right. It would be caving in to look that way. It will not. Well, I tried my best. That's all they can ask. I am technically on vacation. 
Kind of a hastily assembled ruin. Oh, gross, he's wearing a sports bra. Yuck. That was kind of a letdown. I was expecting a better chase. Now I've got the whole rest of the evening. Oh, why the hell did I go down there? What was I thinking of? Uh. Ooh, somebody's wet. <laughs> Watermelon man. Security men in Seattle area. Hmm. I was just reaching for my mint. Grow some hair. Watermelon. I'd love to sneak into my own apartment. That's Herbie Hancock, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're going to take a little break right now. Kind of hard for me to work without my music, but I'll try. Might as well take a couple of laps around the building. <laughs> Hello. 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 X3 calling. Are you receiving me? Answer. Receiving you loud and clear. <laughs> receiving you loud and clear. rented. <laughs> Michael Eisner and Jeffrey Stand Katzenberg's by. last meeting. Stand by for an important message. Are, Are you receiving us? Come in. Hey, you're comfortable. <laughs> yes, receiving you. Go ahead. Over. Okay, X3. I'll give you Frank. X3, how are you? We intend to land near Barcelona in a few hours. Ribbit, over. Rendezvous at the Club Morocco. <laughs> Repeat, rendezvous at the Club Morocco. That's for Is that clear? Yes, message received. I don't have the right clothes for the Club Morocco. It's a Lady Wittenauer. Hello, Fargo here. Hello, how are things going? Fine, Senor Iman. Guess where I'm going tonight. Just made some new friends. I'm sitting I'm on one now. I'm Barcelona, so take the usual steps. Right, anything else? Yes, Senor Iman. Warm wishes to your secretary. I'm here. Be careful, Barton. Don't... Over and out. <laughs> Nobody doesn't like me. <laughs> Macintosh equipment. Macintosh, nice tube amp. Mm. High quality. You might have... Oh, hey! Every Monday night, it's London Calling. Two hours of tea bags with London Underground, Monty Python, who's line is it anyway, and absolutely fabulous. Watch London Calling Monday nights from 8 to 10. It's better than a prank call from Princess Di. I found something that made me change the way I bake. Pamela Blissetti, professional baker. It's not butter, it's something better. Crisco, now in these great new sticks. They're easy to measure and they go in the cupboard, not the refrigerator, so they're soft and easy to blend. And right in the package is Crisco's irresistible peanut butter cookie recipe. Compared to this cookie that uses butter, Crisco stays moister and chewier. New Crisco sticks, a better way to make a great cookie. Cooks who know, trust Crisco. It's only one item. Of all the inconsiderate things a person can do, the woman on the phone just called her friend Collect by dialing zero. <laughs> Dial 1-800-COLLECT instead. It saves the people you call up to 44%. Soap can dry. Noxema conditions. For healthy looking skin. <clears throat> Throat need soothing. <clears throat> Reach for new celestial seasoning soothers. Real fruit juice flavor in all natural herbal throat drops. Not too sweet, not too strong. Sore throat relief that's just right. Celestial seasoning soothers. Thinking about a new car, light truck, or minivan? Ooh, lots of decisions to make. Better write down this number. Now, will that be two-door, four-door, hatchback, or a screaming red convertible, perhaps? Not sure? You need the free book. And how much power? Four cylinders, six, eight? Or hey, if you're on a power trip, why not 12? Do you know which features will make your car faster? 
safer, better on slippery roads, or more valuable at trade-in time? You will if you call this toll-free number for the big free book, Car and Truck Buying Made Easier. 40 fact-filled pages that explain body styles, engines, drivetrains, options, safety and finance. Everything from shopping for the best deal to taking your shiny new baby home. Call now for your free copy of Car and Truck Buying Made Easier before you end up in something that just isn't you. Adorn. Just a few more hours on board, Professor Carmichael. And we'll be then married. You start recreating your death ray, not for NATO, but for private enterprise. You will never manage to make me work against my will. Oh, wait. You will. What am I saying? Danger. Beer guts. X2 calling. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Proceed, X2. Over. What's wrong? What's wrong, X2? I'm just kind of dying. Go ahead. We're waiting for your message. Ooh. Over. This movie's packed with hinders. X2, come in. Sunday morning at Skull and Bones. Come in, X2. Tonight. No. An American tried to find X1. We did our best to, to prevent. Well, it wasn't good enough, was it? X2, reply immediately. Can't you hear X2? What's wrong? Judging from your face, I'm pretty certain that our conclusions are the same. You're damn ugly. Half an hour ago, you gave away details of your rendezvous to a complete stranger. Keep quiet, you. Go sit over there instead. That's your punishment. Sorry. Make contact with X3 again. Do, 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 Western mm -hmm. Union. Mm -mm, not gonna do it. The coy captive. <laughs> that nose wheel feels bushy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We're going to Iowa City to see the dead man. Come on, Skeeter. Abe Lincoln is time cop. <laughs> hey. Yes. Everyone! Uh, Yay! Woo. Ah, exotic locations. Like the south side of Chicago. Gary, Indiana. A little crappy part of town. <laughs> I wonder if the whole city can hear my theme song. Where Eagles Dare moves downtown. We're gonna slow it down now, because we like to do everything nice and easy. It's a poorly designed subway. Oh, I can't run without my theme. If the music speeds up a bit, I can catch her. Quick, we need to get on the tilt a whirl. Oh, that's fun. I can't get enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, my eyes really rack focused there. Happy hour always wins out. Either he's nine feet tall or that's a tiny door. This man will compete for... I'm going to shun him. <laughs> The Morocco Club is really disappointing. In the old days, it wouldn't even let you in there. Geez, this is practically a karate school already. My falafel ready to go? Because <laughs> it's Moroccan. <laughs> if there were a lot of people here, wouldn't they all be phony? Hi. Are you hiring dancers? Nobody around here? Don't I count? What do you want, senor? A double quantro. Ew. <laughs> Why not? Me too. First you pay what you owe, huh? Fourteen thousand dollars? Okay. This is such a fun place. They should make it into a chain. Mm. Well, I'm a secret agent, you know. <laughs> nice little place you have. It's one of the best in Barcelona. And the most expensive. You had drunks in your aisle, you ought to go home. Your job is to serve drinks. I have to agree. This man will compete for...
Go, girl. Woo. I was led to believe this was an Applebee's. You explain to me why they're called buffalo wings. By the way, it's my birthday. Don't I get a little cupcake? It's Jerry Reed. Hit him. Yeah. This man could... Oh, I saw Ed Ames do that on Carson. Oh, hey, John Ivan Palmer performed here. Something is not clicking with this business. Management problems or something. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln, thank you. <laughs> Abe Lincoln's a bad cop on the loose. Ah, the annual running of the secret agents in Pamplona. <laughs> After him. Help me, Kirk. <laughs> no, you're a fool. Oh, wow. Follow the American. Don't let him get away. I want Jefferson Davis dead. I want his children dead. Sorry, Barcelona's closed. That's why it's called Barcelona. <laughs> Too bad they can't just shoot through the bars. <laughs> hey, they just wax that road. Be careful. This action sequence brought to you by the Stan Kenton Band. I'm on Ghoul now. Wow. You're not renting. Be barefoot in the park caper. Oh, poor little guy. Secret agents can climb really good, but they have a hard time coming back down. Senator Mike Mansfield in hot pursuit. It's kind of Escher-esque, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Patience for the elevator, but I'm regretting it now. Is this Madame Suzatska's apartment building? Let yourself feel how you want to feel. 1 800 94 Jenny. We're right here by your side. all you want with Jenny Craig for half off, just $49. Shape up, America. Call 1-800-94-JENNY today. You won't just lose your way. 1-800-94-JENNY. 1-800-94-JENNY. How fast can you begin to feel relief from a cold? It depends. How fast can you open the halls with vapor action? Hall's Vapor Action means instant action, only from the Halls of Medicine. As a little girl, whenever I got sick, my mom always brought me a bowl of chicken soup. Today, when my daughter gets sick, I can give her something more nutritious, Pediasure. Ask your pediatrician. Great tasting Pediasure provides more complete, balanced nutrition than old-fashioned home remedies like chicken soup, milkshakes, or gelatin. I hate it when she gets sick. At least I can be sure she's getting the nutrition she needs with Pediasure. What do you have to drink? Uh, another box of purple stuff. Mom got me sunny delight. Oh, me too. Except mine's California style. Mmm, California style? It's different from original sunny view. Original and California style both come in a fun single serve size with the same vitamins as Big Sunny D. Anybody want to try this? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. come on, I'll, I'll throw some chips doodles. I'll throw in a pickle. Sunny Delight Singles, original and California style. The good stuff kids go for. Have you ever renewed your driver's license? At a cash machine? Nice picture. Madam Fixed your car no. with a television. You're having a problem with your rotor. Can you walk me through that? You move your right hand. Oops. Or had an assistant. Good morning. Here are Who lived in your computer? The reference material I've gathered for your 10 o'clock meeting. And I'm still working on those playoff tickets. Good boy. You will. And the company that'll bring it to you, AT&T. 
I have one full-time job and three full-time kids. Oshkosh Bagash Sales Associate, Anna Dragovich. I know how to sell kids' clothes. My kids know how to stain them. You wouldn't dare use bleach on these colors, right? Oshkosh knows bright colors, and we suggest new Tide with Bleach. Tide's activated bleaching system is unbeatable at removing many tough stains. And now it has a special new ingredient that helps keep cotton colors bright, wash after wash. You can have that garment for a very long time. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. So when your children look good, it makes you feel good. You're watching Comedy Central. Okay, everybody, quiet now. I think he's on his way. This is going to be exciting. Right over here, Mike. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Right there. <laughs> okay, what's this all about, anyway? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello, Mike. <laughs> Hi, Tom. <laughs> I bet you're really surprised to see me standing here, eh? <laughs> Not particularly. Aren't you going to ask me why I'm here? <laughs> no. Well, come on, Mike, ask me. Okay, why are you here? I'm here, Mike Nelson, because this is your life. <laughs> oh, wow, that's great. <laughs> Dry those tears of joy, Mike Nelson, because you're about to hear the voice of a very special person, a person with whom you've shared many golden moments. Let's listen. Hi, Mike. How you doing? <laughs> you recognize that voice, Mike? Yeah, it's Crow. I mean, you know. Well, that's amazing. You still recognize the voice of your dear old friend. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> but wait, Mike. There's lots more surprises on this unforgettable evening. Do you, by any chance, remember this guy? Hi, Mike. How you doing? <laughs> I was doing fine. And yeah. those beloved memories just keep flooding back. Now, who could forget this beloved pal from those cherished bygone days of yore? Hi, Mike. How you doing? Uh, Tom? This must be a very emotional evening for you, Mike, eh? Tom, did you even try to contact anybody else? Uh, like, who do you mean? I don't know. My, my old girlfriend from Hi, high Mike. school. How you uh, doing? My, my Hi, teachers, Mike. my parents. Hey, well, those are really good ideas, Mike. But, but wait, here comes your old dear pal, Crow T. Robot. <laughs> Hi, Mike. How you doing? <laughs> you know, and Ralph Edwards used to give these charm bracelets to commemorate the evening. Ralph Edwards. Well, that, you know, that's a really good idea. You should buy one of them there, Mike. Because, Mike Nelson, this was your life. <laughs> Next week, Angie Dickinson. But until then, I'm Tom Servo. And Crow T. Robot saying, this, this is, is your movie side. Oh, my. Sweet, thank yeah. you. Jeez, can't he ever use the door? Don't tell me you've never been in an artist's studio. Uh, not this way. Uh, are you looking for someone? Oh, no, I just like running around the roofs. It kind of relaxes me. Do you mind if I drop in? Please do. I was hoping you wouldn't use that joke, by the way. Oh, my ankle. Thank you. What do you think of it? Well, I'd like to sleep with that painting. What do I say? Whoever's knocking at your door is someone who wants to speak to me. But I don't want to see him. Is there any place I can hide? In your cleavage, perhaps. Open up! Hmm? Open up! Let us in! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. What in heaven's name's going on? Hmm? Hey, she paints as good as Linda McCartney. Well, why are you standing out there? Boing. Come on in. You see, we're here on a breast inspection. Yes, yes. yes. Uh. We're looking for a man. Are you him? My word, so am I. Oh. Let me know if you find an extra one. I think you know what I meant. Be sure and shut the door. There's a draft. Yeah, all right. Because I'm nude, you know. <laughs> you know, I'd drop into an apartment and it would be Bella Abzug. Oh. <laughs> you can come out now. He's gone. How clever to think of hiding in the well, closet. How about that, hmm? You were wonderful. I tried on your blue outfit. What I need now yeah? is a king-size cigarette. Sure, why not? Wow. Mm. I don't know who you are, honey, but Bart Fargo owes you a favor. <laughs> oh, in Bart that Fargo. case, take me out to dinner. I haven't had a square meal in days. What's the matter, no money? Mm. No, I just forget all about meals when I'm painting. Oh, that nauseating, huh? Let's go to my hotel. What? Uh, I couldn't. I have a very jealous boyfriend, Bart. <laughs> What's the name? Mark Anthony. <laughs> no, I meant your name. Brutus. Ah, Lucille. Lucille! Oh! Well, Lucille, 
Mark Anthony's a very lucky fellow. It's been a pleasure. I sure hate having to send you away, but I've got to finish the picture. Mm. Thanks again, Lucille. Hey, what's with a secret agent who keeps striking out? <laughs> They're just waiting outside the door. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No, time for God. Come in. Let's go to my hotel. <laughs> Your breakfast, senor. Put it on the table. Then put you on the me. <laughs> oh, we ordered one of those crappy European breakfasts. Freshly baked. <laughs> hmm? Senor, we have cleaned and pressed your gun. We're gonna put an end to this towel stealing once and for all. David Cassidy is Abe Lincoln behind Confederate lines. <laughs> This happened when I was Mannix's bellboy, too. Oh. Lincoln actually fought Golden Gloves. Oh. oh, I've got a rail-splitting headache. Oh, no, Raymond Massey to us, mister. No, it's real. Oh, it's... Hey. Huh? You know, Scarface, that was a very silly get-up that didn't suit you. And your imitation of a waiter was very funny. Your breakfast, senor. <laughs> you should have changed your voice, too. Uh. Ole! <laughs> and the way you dove out the window was just terrible. Ooh, sorry, ma'am. That's too bad. Oh, come on. What about he really fell for me? His yeah. hopes are crushed. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't go back there. Hey, you must have just had eye drops. He's wearing those Italian woman-y glasses. Who's that behind those Amy Grants? <laughs> They're cool. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, long line to the barber shop. Yeah, we'll come back for the rest later. Could I part of that skull? Yeah, what are you going to do with the extra pieces? There's some brain over here. You want this brain? Let's go to the villa. Sure, I'd love to go to the villa with you. Too shy. I should just introduce myself. <laughs> oh, I see he drives one of them little foreign jobs. Oh, into my circuit's mini car. <laughs> but she's wearing an armoire on her finger. Wow. Danger, birth control pills. <laughs> X9 calling. Listen, Frank. Listen? I just saw the man we're after get into a red sport car. He's following you. You know what to do. Yeah, we know what to do. <laughs> what do we do? God, you're ugly. Oh, we can't shake him. He's too good. Uh, uh, I could use a touch more headroom. I think they lost him. <gasps> Damn, he's good! Wow. Spy movie historical marker, two miles. <laughs> go speed racer, go speed racer. <laughs> it's a high performance Dodge Dart. Well, you know, just because you're having a high-speed chase doesn't mean you can't have an adequate space cushion. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, there's a nipple on your face. Ooh. This highway adopted by the Barcelona JCs. The Rockford Files, European vacation. Ooh. Well, this is the big chase scene, folks, so you might want to take this time to go make yourself a sandwich or take a shower or... He emptied the urinal. wheels. Some little boy is going to be very upset. Aha! Uh -huh. I think we just foiled someone, but because of the editing, I'm not really sure. 
They tampered in God's domain. Let's get moving. Oh, what kind of a lame quip is that? What about, he's all wet? Or he took a dip. Yeah, or he made quite a splash. Yeah. Whoa, portrait of the artist as a young vavoom. The door's unlocked. And so am I. Just push. <coughs> Hello, Seal. Why, what happened to you? I went for a swim. Oh, see, at least he tried to You quit. must be crazy. Maybe you're right. I can tell you right now, I'm not very good at pressing trousers, but I'll do my best. Mm. Take everything off. <gasps> you're not shy, are you? Not really, but do you have something a little bit drier I can slip into? <laughs> In case you didn't know, this is the light-hearted portion of our movie. <laughs> you men are full of the strangest complexes. Mm? To tell you the truth, Right now, I'd rather be full of scotch. There's some cooking brandy in the kitchen. Do you have Holland House? You know, I still think my idea is best. And I wear your dress. As soon as you've finished, we'll go out and have a drink. Ah, first you want to get me high, and then you'll take advantage. Bingo! Two sips, Barton. <laughs> I'm just lost. Oh, come on. You wouldn't refuse a man who's about to die of pneumonia, would you? I don't <laughs> date Kendall's. <laughs> Now it's another bomb back column. <laughs> She's a toilet paper cozy. And a salute to Nair. Yes, yes, here we go. We'll put you in the back because of your outfit and all this. I thought this would be a good place to just talk, to get to know each other. Two whiskeys on the rocks. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't be stingy, baby. This makes the chase scene look absolutely exhilarating. Miss Iceberg Lettuce. That's Victor Victoria. Next up, Sandler and Young. I can't believe she's doing my bit. <laughs> Pam. Pam. Hmm? What is it? He's out there, the American. You better hurry, warn the boss. You're watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central. At 2-ish, watch Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. Hey! How much do you pay for a minute of long distance? 45 cents. Oh, get out. About 60 cents. Oh, about a dollar and a half? I have no idea. I'm sure it's a lot. 80 cents. 85. Yeah. Now Sprint introduces a whole new way to save on long distance. Every evening and all weekend long, a minute is just 10 cents. Mm. It's that simple. That looks like a dime. One minute, two minutes, three. E pluribus unum. Who says a dime doesn't buy you anything anymore? Call now for 10 cents a minute and get 100 minutes free. I'm starting in a new school, so of course my face explodes into monsters it. Ugh, just got a first impression I love to make. You can picture my Saturday nights for the next five years. It scares me. I wanted to blast those sets. With Clearasil, you'll have fewer pimples in three days of your money back. Guaranteed. It really worked. Yeah. The first day, I looked like everyone else from the neck up. From the neck down, that is another story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fewer pimples in three days of your money back. Guaranteed. Okay, five happen. minutes, Eva. OK, you're ready. You look great. Couldn't do it without you, eh? Especially after a... That's what I'm here for, huh? A few weeks ago, I was getting Eva ready for her close-up, when I noticed something. Dandruff. So I told her about head and shoulders. The regular shampoos just rinse flakes away so they can come back. Head and shoulders helps prevent flakes from even forming. You see the difference? What, please? Mark, you look beautiful. Head and shoulders, because great hair can't have flakes. Against his boss's orders. The guy is guilty. They will eat you for breakfast. Against his brother's advice. This case is a lost cause. Against even his client's wishes. I want you to believe me guilty. I don't think you are guilty. He put the nation's most notorious prison on trial. You created the murderer, didn't you? Christian Slater, Kevin Bacon, and Gary Oldman. Based on the true story that brought down Alcatraz. Murder in the First. Rated R. Starts Friday, January 20th at a theater near you. By integrating research data with proven technology, Comedy Central's scheduling department has developed a new primetime schedule. Monday. How about British stuff? 
Mm. Tuesday night is the best night for Saturday Night Live. Uh, am I convincing at all? No. <laughs> Every Wednesday is totally free movie night. Wow, how much? <laughs> Thursday would be a night that utilizes our entire inventory to spotlight a single comic or group. Spotlight! <laughs> Friday night is the perfect night for people to call in their favorite Mystery Science Theater 3000s. <laughs> it's Comedy Central's brand new primetime lineup. Monday's London Calling. Tuesday, it's Saturday Night Live, the first 20 years. Wednesday, totally free movies. Thursday, Spotlight. Friday, play Misty for me. The new order is here only at Comedy Central. Get out of this movie. You know, see, so you should never wear white pants on a caper. That's not why. Jeez, I wish they'd invent elevators. Vicky's is a clandestine window washer. like walking except different it's late we'd better go uh, do you mind if i drive this time is this the national twister monument <laughs> whoa a jumpsuitless back are you a daring young man in a jaunty jalopy Go forward. <laughs> well, finally got rid of her. All secret agents are guests of the luxurious Motel 6. <laughs> Lucky guess, I gotta admit. <laughs> I'll get it. Wow, swinging bachelor pad. Cool. Hello? Yeah, I just got in. Yeah, the guy with the knife is still I here. Swell evening, honey. <laughs> Okay. Hey, no jumping on the bed. Oh. Hey, no, don't. Stop it. Oh. Hold on a minute. Bart, Bart. What's going on, darling? Daddy is on the phone. Oh. My mother, my sister, my sister, my mother. His name is Luca. I'm sending you to bed without room service. Well, I'm gonna order. You want anything? Sorry for that, darling. It was room service. I'm kidding. What did you want to tell me? That I'm mad about you. Ooh. You say it like you mean it. Of course I do, Bart. I'll see you later. Mm. Sure. Bye. Mm. Gun placed by the Gideons. <laughs> You and I have some issues, mister. All right, talk. Where's Professor Carmichael? Could you slap me again? If I tell you, the boss will have me killed. Springsteen? Why? Please try to understand. I'm Gary Crosby. Listen, you tell me or you're going to be in real trouble. I'll spank you, I will. You just wait till your father gets home. Uh, how keep he? How? I don't need any more toilet paper. Oh, pardon. I thought it was my room. Why, it's you. What a coincidence. I just love the view from this room. <laughs> Come back here. You have both room keys. Hey. You owe me for part of the bill. Ah. He's got such a soft spot for people who try to kill him. See, a long time ago, I lost a ball up here. Oh, there it is. Well, that moment went nowhere. I'm going to go back in. I'm here to register voters. I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Anything wrong? I'm just a burglar. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. You see, my room's next door. The hall's so badly lit, I couldn't read the number. <laughs> I really am sorry. It was so silly. Don't worry. Why don't you come in for a minute? Well, now that fate's brought us together again, we can get to know each other better. I like Bobby Vinton. Whoa. But let's go for a ride in a motorboat. 
It's wonderful in the first light. Well, what do you say? Okay, vroom, vroom. <laughs> I feel like kissing his shoulder. Is that weird? Um, oh. I'll need my purse for the shower. <laughs> you haven't said anything about your work. I should think that Barcelona is a good center for your line of business. Oh, uh, don't look on the top shelf in there, because my guy who lived here well, before had a lot of porno magazines. There's quite a demand for our products in Spain. Well, hello. This is for the ladies, but I like it too. If you want to go to the police about that burglar, I can take you there after our trip in the motorboat. You see, the chief of police, he's an old friend of mine. It always helps to know someone. Thanks, sir. I may as well, but I don't think it'll be easy to catch him. I really enjoy our mundane conversation. Hmm? The Boatniks, undercover. It's way too fast to troll. I am determined to get a muskie this year. This man! Oh. Uh, it was an interesting choice not to have any suspense in this movie. <laughs> this is the low-budget remake of A Night to Remember. Why don't we do a bit of sunbathing? Sure. Teach me. Like a Please. They're done already? Wow. He's not a teller. Um, there's a little bomb in it, so don't be alarmed when it goes off. This guy has premature foreplay. Darling Capizios. Mm -hmm. They're having some Montclair moments. What a melon man. God, I was great. She's checking the sun's makeup. Obey. Whoa. Oh. oh, he's wearing pull-ups. Let's go. Put it down, put it down. There's Lieutenant Stephanie Holden when you need her. Whoa. They must have hit an eel pout. Really go up. checked out Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher at Comedy Central, you're missing out on a lot of laughs. And if you haven't been in our studio audience, you're missing out on even more. For tickets to Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, just call 212-512-8959. As a little girl, whenever I got sick, my mom always brought me a bowl of chicken soup. Today, when my daughter gets sick, I can give her something more nutritious. Pediasure. Ask your pediatrician. Great tasting Pediasure provides more complete balanced nutrition than old fashioned home remedies like chicken soup, milkshakes, or gelatin. I hate it when she gets sick. At least I can be sure she's getting the nutrition she needs with Pediasure. Statistics show that 40% of all kids who smoke marijuana live in the city. Guess where the other 60% live? Call for a free parent's guide to drug prevention. 1-800-624-0100. How fast can you begin to feel relief from a cold? Depends. How fast can you open the halls with vapor action? Hall's Vapor Action means instant action. Only from the Halls of Medicine. Russell Wong is back in an all-new one-hour series. I'm wanted for murder. He's on the run and out for justice. I'm innocent. He's the hero who touches people's lives with the power from his heart. If you pull that trigger, 
you'll put a hole in your soul for the rest of your life. The hunter becomes the hunted. I think that you are chasing the wrong guy. The all-new Vanishing Sun. Series premieres the week of January 16th. Check local listings for time and station. Introducing Simple Pimple Control. This I gotta see. Stridex Super Size Pads. They're bigger than Oxy Pads, bigger than Clearasil Pads. They are bigger. They're extra big to clean deep down dirt and oil. That's really cleaning. Benzoyl peroxide creams can't do that. Nothing without a prescription is stronger than maximum strength Stridex. It's that simple. Nothing stronger. Stridex is the one thing you need to clean, treat, and help prevent acne. Extra big Stridex pads. Simple pimple control. Simple. He really needs a terry top to go with those swim trunks. Suddenly I've seen the you never been wow. Is that swingle singer music coming from? Give me some pants! Huh? Pow. Oh, pow. Ah! Ah! Sorry, Ms. Reno. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's not young and beautiful, you see. <laughs> uh. Wardrobe, more pants, please. No. Uh. Oh. oh, well, it's 10 a.m. somewhere in the world. Oh, no, <laughs> I'll never love again. Jerry Reed is Polonius. <laughs> oh, it's moist. That robe has Father's Day gift written all over it. It's a band-aid. Ah. <laughs> Jerry Reed in Whose Life Is It Anyway? <laughs> Little Murphy's oil soap. Oh. Have a swallow. Here. It's two for one. <laughs> Thanks. Well, then, do you want to talk about it? How did it happen? <laughs> they wanted to get rid of me because... I'm Jerry Reed. I'm no use to them anymore. <laughs> and so you managed to get away. Another time. I get you to think. Last night out there, you had a perfect chance to kill me. But luckily for me, you didn't. You want to have coffee sometime? You saved me. Sure is a big debt to repay. Mm. Uh, forget it. Our hair is our special bond. How about answering that question? Yes, I will be Mrs. Bart Fargo. What is that sound? Your official UCLA Bruins robe. Hello? I was waiting for you, Bart. Hey, Hello? listen. About 13 miles away on the north road out of town, there's a villa. Go there tonight. You better be careful. Hey, wait. She's painted for a laugh-in sketch. What's going on? How would I know? What am I, spy or something? Sorry, Lucille. <laughs> it was the porter. He was bringing my laundry. The laundry? <laughs> There's always someone there when I call. Listen, how about coming over here? We can have a quiet little talk. But you're a girl. Sorry, I'm very busy today. You're not giving me the brush off, are you? Certainly not, and you shouldn't know it. In that case, what are you waiting for? Oh, Bart. I didn't sleep all night. Well, then she should just get some sleep. Neither did I. I really think I'm in love with you, Bart. <coughs> with Mark Anthony. It was a different thing altogether. You know, an infatuation. With you, it's an obsession. I'll tell you what. I'll pick you up tomorrow afternoon and we'll go out in the boat, okay? Yes, darling. But come as soon as you can. Sure. That's what I usually do. You idiot. I told you to get rid of Al. At least I wounded him. He couldn't be very far. And if he's got away? It's a liquor showroom. Don't worry, Senor Frank. It's all right. I'll take care of him. If that American agent gets a hold of him, you'll find out where the fellow is. Ooh. I'll find out, Senor Frank. I'll kill him with my own hand. Hey, leave Mr. French alone. He's Coppola's little. Si, Senor. At once. Taco. Hot and on the rest. Oh. I'm a little late. But, senor, that's all I can think to say. <laughs> I just had his suit polished. 
Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm here. The party can start. Hello. <laughs> Have you heard about the guy who's late? There's a late guy here. It's him over there. I hear he's late. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the pizza rolls will be ready at any moment. The Viper Room's kind of a letdown. Apparently shiny suits haven't caught on over here. <laughs> he adjusted his head. Paging Mr. Fart Bar Bart Fargo. Bart Fargo. B-49, B-49. Why'd they seat him at the pool table? Mesdames et messieurs, a bonk of $10,000. Better be a damn good bonk. <laughs> God, he's beautiful. Mm -hmm. He didn't show a card or anything. There, the man with his back turned. All right, I'll Prince see. Sammy Khan. Who are you, please? Mm. If it's any business of yours, my good man, I'm a guest. That's not writing, that's typing. <laughs> Seven for Monsieur Laroche. Paul Molive hands. Mm. And eight for Monsieur Charlton. <laughs> Mr. Charlton, it's amazing that you have such a beautiful wife, and yet you still manage to win at cards. I like disproving old-fashioned sayings. Mm? That one especially. Mm -hmm. Hold this, thank you. Please tell him, Mr. Carver, that I'm here as an honored guest. Fine, you don't have to chip in on the pizza. I don't quite understand. By the way, I heard the croupier call you Charlton. Have you changed your name? No, there's some mistake, I'm afraid. I'm Charlton Chew. <laughs> My apologies, senores. Oh. I'll just take care of this, and uh, then I'll return. Sorry, darling. Sure, that's okay. Fine. Come with me, then. I'll fix you a nice black cow. Let's go to the furniture showroom. <laughs> we'll go to the billiard room. Well, you're all going to be Bart fargo -less for a while. <laughs> I better have another screwdriver. Hi, I'm here for the Wiglet Society meeting. <laughs> no? Feels nice, yeah. You think you know a great many things, don't you, Fargo? I've brought you to my parents' rumpus room for a reason. But knowledge can be extremely dangerous. I know that, duh. Your good fortune may turn. Why don't you put your cards on the table? What? You're playing pool. This time you might lose. I'm sorry to have to disappoint you. But I'm Eileen Eckert. But I'm not in the habit of losing. You want to get a picture there? <laughs> okay, here we go. And oh, ooh. Hey, are we playing call? I think this game's lasted too long. Hmm? Don't you, Carver? 20 seconds? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think. Hey, we had our quarters on the table. <laughs> Go steal the chalk. It's Roland Gift. Hmm. Hi. Is that really Sean Tung? Nice. <laughs> the ever debonair Bart Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, now it smells weird. Hello, darling. Well, well. Old friends meet again. Bart? Bart! 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 Stop. Bart, I... I, uh, I think I'm a hostage. <laughs> How did you find out I was coming here? I heard it on the telephone. The porter gave you this address. What porter? That's not important now. Hmm? <laughs> you were very clever, Carver. Yes. Kidnapping the professor was a brilliant piece of work. My congratulations. Look, let's put our balls on the table, shall we? Thank you, Fargo. For being a major agricultural center in the upper Midwest. Take them both to the villa. <laughs> oh, and get the professor ready. And Gilligan I'll and Mary Ann. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't sorry, say that. Sorry. Very 
very simple. It's just okay. like that. Stop. I just don't That's have a mic. Oh. Um, ah. Thanks to today's movie, I've realized more firmly than ever the importance to a man of a good pair of man sunglasses. Like those. Uh, why, yes. Uh, one of a line of Italian sunglasses I've developed. Uh, Cambot, the badada dada music, please. Thank you. <laughs> Note how the delicate lines shade my sensitive eyes from the harsh and wrinkle-inducing midday sun. I don't know. They seem a little woman to me. No, they're for men. Uh, Mike, you'll find a lovely box under there filled with more of my Italian sunglasses for men. <laughs> Keep in mind, these work best if you've got a small Italian head. Oh, there's a luscious pair. Now, those are woman -y. Except that they're for men. Uh, yes, this model I call the Brigitte Bardot. She's <laughs> French. Whatever. Uh, Mike, the point is these glasses accentuate a man's own special features and maybe help us get to a place, a secret inner manly place that only men can know. And they're for men. Of course. Who else? Oh, and now my favorite, the Coliseum by Moonlight. Oh, yes, a shared glass of rosé, an intimate evening of movies on Lifetime. Now that's woman -y. What is? But men wear these sunglasses? Of course. How many times do I have to explain? Now, it seems like you'd have to be pretty confident. To... <laughs> I don't see why. Look, if you guys don't like my exclusive line of sunglasses for Italian men, then that's just fine. But maybe we're not Italian enough. Or we'll be right back. Have you got that some... woman -y. Yeah, there's something about them. Mm -hmm. Watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central at 2-ish. Watch Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. AT&T, this is Margaret. Margie, tell me about AT&T True USA Savings. Certainly. Hi, Margie. What's the monthly fee? No fee. No fee? No fee! Make $25 in calls a month and we'll subtract 20% off your AT&T bill. Oh! I'm sick of the circles! You got circles? No calling circles. You can save to anybody in the U.S. you want to call. No circles. Call anybody. Anybody! Anybody. 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 AT&T True USA Savings. Save 20% to anybody, anytime, anywhere. Your true voice. Here's a chip that's got more ridginess. New Pringles Ridges, it's more crunch. Yes. Crunch is what you can't resist. A Pringles Ridge is more crunch than this. Crunch. When it comes to maxis, the most important thing to me is protection on the sides, where I really need it. And that's why I wear Always with Wings. I tried another thin maxi with the little tabs, but you see, Always Wings cover more of the sides of my panties than the tabs do, which means I'm protected better there. Side protection. For me, that's what it's all about. And that's why I wear Always Ultra with Wings. It's cleaner, it's drier, it's always. Great reads can be found at the Great Jacksonville Book Sale. Don't miss Jacksonville's Great Book Sale, January 27th through 29th at Jacksonville Civic Auditorium. When you buy a book, you're supporting your public libraries. So don't miss the Great Jacksonville Book Sale. For more information, call 630-2665. Libraries are important to us all. People choose to become paralegals because it's an exciting, rewarding career. Paralegals work alongside lawyers researching important cases, preparing arguments, drafting legal documents, and more. And since paralegal is one of the fastest growing careers of the 90s, they also know they'll always be in demand. Order. Call Jones College today at 743-1122 for more information on how you can begin training for an exciting career as a paralegal. Get in. And don't sit on my comic books. Oh no, poison pins! <laughs> Herbie the misfit elf. Oh no, one of the three tenors is down. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's fun. Thanks for repaying that debt. Carver mentioned another villa. Do you know where it is? 
But I can't go there. I'd be killed. I'm delicate. No, please don't ask me to do that. Surely I've done enough, haven't I? Here's 3,000 bucks. Ooh. Stock the villa with when groceries. get to the villa, I'll give you another 3,000. And then I promise to help you start a new life when all this is finished. Come on, we better hide these corpses. <laughs> You'd think a decent hotel would take care of that. Go, drag in the bodies, yeah. Hide the evidence. Shoot the Hey, we're getting funky now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the guards at the villa know you left the gang. No, I doubt it. Maybe we're dwarves. I'm not important enough. No one would think of telling them. <laughs> will compete. Can you check this? I think I'm done. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we've got to get some use out of this death ray. I've got an impish idea. Hi, <laughs> I'm still in the movie. This drug will completely destroy your willpower, Professor. By the time Herr Carver returns, you'll no longer be able to think or act independently. You'll become Michael Huffington. <laughs> oh, suddenly they're in Lake Elmo. Watch out for this rock. <laughs> I ought to hit you. <laughs> You are going to military school, whether you like it or not. Could you turn the radio down? I'm really sick of this song. Oh, the beautiful people live here. Come on. Hi. Welcome to Jack Ruby Fantasy Camp. Don't worry, Bart. The nurses will be very nice to you here. Whoa, partner, you just missed the Pinecrest Resort. <laughs> well, who's for badminton? He's strumming his machine gun. <laughs> ha! Ha! The whole driving by thing went off exactly as planned. <laughs> Would you moon him? <laughs> I'm not sure what happened, but I'm delighted. Driving Miss Fargo. Bart? Okay, remember, we're just looking. We're just looking at the model we're not going to buy. Good way to sneak up. Slam the doors. What are you looking for? I thought you knew. You I don't know. What I, what, I said. Okay, now remember, these people are very uptight, so don't do none of your Jew jokes. Is that the entrance? Yeah, but don't forget what I told you, huh? That you're a tiger in the sack? I sure won't. Don't you worry. Uh, you, you might want to notch down the music while I'm trying to sneak in. Come on, pretty boy. Watch Bart Fargo rock. He hit Benny Hill. <laughs> Good. Hey, it's the kids in the hall. He was no lady. He was my wife. Um, do we have a plan? It's Tony Curtis. <laughs> the ladies are putty in his hands. Let's see. Do you look good next to the plant or in here? In there. Now I'm going to get medieval on your ass. You're in bed for good, young man. No getting up for a glass of water. Oh, another great hiding place. <laughs> Suddenly, we're on the set of the Cheyenne Social Club. <laughs> the day they killed Chad and Jeremy. <laughs> I gotta get a bigger body closet. Now, no talking or giggling, or I'll separate you three. Okay, I gotta figure something out here. I'm conking a lot of people, but I'm not making any headway. Oh, no, 
Joey Bishop is down. Four people down and not a single quip. It's going to bump into Miss Kitty. I hope they have a body closet on the second floor. <laughs> Quit following me. Get ready. Carver will be here soon. All right. One, two, skip to my loo. Three, four. Oh, uh -huh. there they go. Five, six. Da -da 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 oh, you're here. Whoa! <laughs> Leave it down out here or I will tell the RA. Oh, time to shave my brow. Carl. Carl, do we have a casserole dish? Carl, where are the croutons? Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone 57. Well, time to run into a trap. <coughs> Have you seen Carl? <coughs> oh, please, I'm not ready for this. I like him just as a thug. <coughs> You're not Carl. Carl doesn't hit me. And he picks up a spare. <laughs> Secret agent specializes in rough hunting. You can tell their mom's gone. <laughs> you must be Carl. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hit him with Pickwick papers. Thanks. Now I'll have to wear a turtleneck to school. <laughs> How about a hand of poker? <laughs> oh no, that antique breakaway chair has been in the family for years. You know, neither one of us is very good at this. Mm. Are we? Are we? Watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 at Comedy Central. At two-ish, watch Doritos Stand Up Stand Up. and not the 60s. In a world this dangerous, there's no such thing as a harmless drug. Talk to your kids about marijuana. How fast can you begin to feel relief from a cold? Depends. How fast can you open a Halls with Vapor Action? Halls Vapor Action means instant action. Only from the Halls of Medicine. Oh, it's so cute. Susie, could you take uh, a picture of photo. us with no, photo ready, over the there? <laughs> if you take off to the Italian town of Todi, <laughs> but your camera just takes off, where'd they come? You better have Visa Gold, because there's not a camera store there that takes American Express. There's a great shot. Visa Gold, it's everywhere you want to be. At the Discovery Channel, we go to extraordinary lengths to tell extraordinary stories. So if we see it, you see it. The Discovery Channel. Explore your world. If you're... A powerful new TV network is captivating America. There's no script. No actors. The lighting and sound can be downright lousy. But the human issues and emotions are more vital and riveting than most Hollywood movies. Court TV. Real trials. Real people. Different television.
would you like to earn $20 cash today and help someone at the same time? Stop in at the Alpha Plasma Center in Jacksonville or Jacksonville Beach and find out how safe and easy it can be. New donors earn $20 their first visit. Bring in a friend and earn $30. You can earn up to $135 a month or you and your spouse can earn up to $270 a month. Earn extra cash and give the gift of life at the Alpha Plasma Center, 5101 Timaquana Road, Jacksonville, or 122 6th Avenue North, Jacksonville Beach. This woman! He died as he lived, not really having anything to do with this film. Al! Hey, look out! So, hey, you shot the gardener and the pool guy and the chemlon guy. <laughs> Bart, those were our people. I want you to know how much your four lines of dialogue meant to me. This has the tone of an Incredible Hulk episode. This isn't appropriate right now. His friend is dying over there. It's nice. It's nice, though, yeah. <laughs> Fargo is hard to watch. <laughs> hey, we're just playing croquet. If he harms one hair on my earrings. Bart Fargo. Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo. <laughs> That's hard. That is. <laughs> Thank God this is bulletproof ermine. Hi, you dead yet? Al, how do you feel? Are you Erpy? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bart. I thought I thought I could do it. What? Oh, right. You'll be all right. We'll just get that Halloween scar all cleaned up. I'm running out on you. You'll you'll have to finish it on your own. Uh, now you're just milking it. Take it easy. I'm dying in a rush. Uh. Maybe you lost the title list. <laughs> I guess this thing was pulling left. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. That's so comforting. Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo. Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo. <laughs> I just like doing it. <laughs> His relationship's sour. He really lashes out. Go on without me. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> By the way, it's over between us. Bart, it's open. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Stephen Hawkins could have broken those doors. <laughs> uh, even though I'm watching him right now, I don't remember him. Broken to West Montgomery's house. Oh, Oscar Peterson's house. By now, the death ray is completely forgotten. Lionel Hampton's house. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I've seen this all in the James Bond movies, so... Whoops! <laughs> Wrong floor! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I love that. Yes. I think you know who just did that, don't you? <laughs> have you and the death ray gotten to know each other? Just wanted to finish my video game before I killed you. <laughs> Uh, can I have the last blints? Let's see, you are here. Where's Bloomingdale's? Yeah. I do enjoy this. It's a simple pleasure. You're watching the All Chair Channel. Crap, it's Danger Death Ray. I hate this movie. Cool, huh, folks? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. A little of this here. Yes, yes. There. I got into the cooking sherry. Yeah. The <coughs> This is really interactive TV. Oh, I don't use that very much, but it's worth the money. Cool. Poopy. Is this
this what they mean by the dressing rooms may be under surveillance? <laughs> the Dow, 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 Dow attachment. Mm -hmm. So there's where they put the ceiling, the clever bastards. Hmm? 57 channels and nothing's alive. <laughs> The death ray looks mutely on. He's so dreamy when he shoots. You gotta love me, don't you, huh? Hmm. 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 Uh, maybe I should have thought of this earlier. Oh, I'm really tearing through the cameras. <laughs> Do I have a big nose, you think? Oh, I'm nervous now. Oh. Don't move or the curtain gets it. Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo, Bart Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch another episode of Sequest. I must do something. I can see why men like women. Me too. Tell Bobby where the gin is. <laughs> Dance with me. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll sleep here. See what you made me do. This movie could have been very successful, but then talkies came. Yeah. You know, they were going to call this Danger Wall-Mounted Guns, but it wasn't a very good title. I think having a house with wall-mounted guns shows a fear of intimacy. This house has the guns, but no central air, so... Beware. Hey, nice grand finale there. The fireworks and all? Uh, right now, I bet that guy's getting on the phone with his wall gun representative. Yeah, you got to slap it in like that or it doesn't work. Yep, pretty much. Whatever 17th century baron built this place, he had surprising technology. He was Jefferson. Ah, now he's an art critic. I wonder if I took a leak right now, if I'd break my momentum. Probably. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't get his damage deposit back. <laughs> cool. What's this? What's all the arpeggioing about? Ah, uh, hey, uh, uh, uh oh. Ted Armstrong kicks some ass. <laughs> okay, okay, stay there. The death ray works, but the victim really has to cooperate. I think he's under applying the death ray. You're making a mockery of my death ray. Now, I'm going to give you laser eye surgery. Hello, I have a death ray. Oh, guess I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Oh, glad I don't live in the upstairs apartment. <laughs> no, actually, the death ray would be good for Hollywood premiere. <laughs> Danger drywall. Lucille. Did you check me out in the monitors? How was I? How did I look? Are you all right, darling? Professor, I'm a friend. Now, don't worry. I hope my death ray has not been the cause of all of this. <laughs> Hey. Not a pantsuit, but a ba ba da da bra. Ba ba da da panties, but a da ba 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 girls. It says ba da ba da ba da. On a new job already? I don't know. I don't read Italian. <laughs> Yeah, I'm smooth. I'm awful smooth. <laughs> now I've got my affordable townhome all to myself. Well, now to sit in my underwear and watch silk stockings. Bing! This is where your widescreen format really comes in great. Great, she's got a matron at a mental hospital dress on. 
bubble up. I got it out of the machine. It's right down the hall. <laughs> SCTV oh. is on the Where's air! The John wow. Cameron Swayze intercepted it. <laughs> oh, come on. What was that? What was that? <laughs> oh, well, one thing I'll say for that movie. It was really bad. You know, Michael Jeter would have made a better secret agent. <laughs> I hear you guys. It's... Huh? Cambod? What the? Cambod, are you okay? Oh. oh. I think wrong with Cambod. I know, Cambod. What's going on? Are you having a lot of feelings about this movie? Yeah, yeah, I bet you're sad because all those innocent video cameras got killed or maimed, huh? Oh, yeah, they Yeah, well, there, there, Cambod. Come on now, honey. It's just a movie. It's just a movie. They didn't really get hurt. Now, come on. Let's see a smile from you. Come on. Let's see a smile. <laughs> there it is. Come on, Cambot. Oh, you're okay. Cambot's so sensitive. If you womany ladies are about done, maybe Cambot could get back to work and put that letter on Still Store. Okay, that fine. All right, let's read a letter. Uh, this one's from Chuck Cole, and put it on Still Store there. You can yeah. kind of see that yeah. Cambot's been crying on it. Uh, dear Tom Servo, hey. if your head is transparent why can't i see through it when you're in front of the big screen uh chuck it's because of physics there you go <laughs> and p.s have you thought about starting your own fan club uh no i haven't but crow started my own fan club yeah it's going very well oh, oh damn oh, oh, oh you know why don't you take the day off go lay down or or, or go shopping huh oh, or kids way around here i'll fly away <laughs> Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. Oh, Clayton, Clayton. What? <laughs> Frank, what? I was right in the middle of splicing a DNA. Well, Clay, you know, I was feeling bad about what happened earlier. So to make it all up for you, I got your present. My glamour shot. Oh, well, Frank, thank you. That's, that's very sweet. I... I have just the place for it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shall I push the button? Yeah. yeah. Frank, you look like a slut. Do you really think so? Do I? <laughs> a presentation from Comedy Central. On January 24th, Comedy Central...